Leo, let it be yo. It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Red Tarot, and I am back at it again, one time for the one time, to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for November 2020. Show me the money energy mixed in with a lot of Thanksgiving festivities. Um, we're so thankful for being here today. I hope all of you guys are feeling fun and festive today. Thank you so much for clicking this video, and shout out to every one of you guys for like sharing and subscribing shout out to all my OG shout out to all my newbies shout out to every last one of you for stepping through and showing some love over here if there's anyone who would like to support the channel or book a personal or private reading the only thing you need to do is click the about tab on my YouTube page or check the description out in this video okay it has the pricing list it has the way to connect with me I only do video readings so you can connect with me on Google Hangouts, which is a free, easy app to download. If you do not have Instagram Messenger, I prefer to use Instagram Messenger. But again, if you do not have Instagram, do not worry about that. Just um, shoot me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com, and I'll help get you all set up on Google Messenger, I mean, on Google Hangouts. Um, only thing we need to exchange is our email, so it's really easy. And you can delete it after the reading if you guys don't want it anymore. So, um... If there's anyone that would like to show support uh, to the page, um, you guys have been donating amazing decks here from the Amazon wish list. Thank you guys again very much so for all of the love and support that you've given to the page. Um, all donations um, and forms of payment are accepted by Cash App or PayPal. So again, if you have any questions, just shoot me an email. And again, thank you in advance for all of the love and support to the page. So. Let's get into the prayer, Leo. Let's close our eyes and bow our heads and, you know, give the Lord uh, praise right now. Father God, we thank you so much for waking us up today, making us feel blessed, giving us fresh air, daily bread, and just, you know, the day-to-day -day nourishment that we need to keep us thriving and keep us focused towards our dreams and goals, Father God. We thank you so much for your heavenly protection, um, you dividing us separately and, 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 and dividing us away from things that we didn't need to be around father god we are patient we are faithful we got a head held up high and we just you know moving forward with pride and just you know belief and abundance in our chest and our heart father god so continue to keep us encouraged um continue to uh help push us that we're living up to your standard father god because we just want to be everything that you have in your eyes and your mind for us to be father god we thank you so much in advance for all of the blessings that you continue to give us in jesus name we pray amen all right let's get into leo what i do oh i don't know why i feel drained for some reason it's like my energy ain't the way it normally be. I don't know why. I don't know if I'm tapping into something or what. Let's see. Because I don't know why I don't feel like I normally feel right now. I just feel tired. But I, I'm not tired though. So I really don't think that this is me. I really don't think that this is me. They, okay. So I was just told someone feels stressed and a little bit lonely and they are like tired. I feel like someone feels like themselves to death. Um I feel like someone's been working so tired and sleep because they could possibly be lonely. So it was like this is giving me something to do and then I come home and I just collapse in my bed because I'm tired, you know. Let's see. Don't look at it. Hold on. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Okay, hold on. I didn't look at it. I closed my eyes. Alright, so let's see. over y'all. Thank you. 
don't know. I'm, I don't know why I'm not talking like I know you do when I'm putting the cards out. I don't know. I'm just really getting a very weird energy, you guys. I'm just tired. I don't know why. And I, I wasn't tired until I started doing this. I don't know what the fuck is going on. We about to see. And I'm definitely going to claim it. However, I'm feeling it right now because I know it's not me. It's just like a level of just like exhaustion. I feel like it's someone just been staying up. Like, I feel like how I would feel if I would have stayed up all night the night before on my phone looking at something. You know what I'm saying? Or reading something. Like, I'm getting like an... Someone has some type of like insomnia or or whatever. It's like you have insomnia, like you haven't been like your sleeping patterns are off or something. And then I feel like you get up and you go work yourself to death, and then you come home and then you still don't sleep, and you do it all over again. And I feel like someone's body is going to just like crash down on them after a while. But you can't keep doing that. Cause I feel like right after this, I want to go lay down and go to sleep, but. I was extremely well rested, so it's not me. I feel like someone needs to catch up on their rest. It gives you a more of a healthy mind state. Alright, Leo, so let's see what we got here. Center energy. Yeah, go ahead and check yourself out. Okay. I listen, listen, I like this feeling. Like you're getting up in the morning, you feel refreshed, getting out the shower. Feeling like the man, feeling like you got the master plan, all right? Giving you, you know, giving yourself encouragement in the mirror. Like, you got it, babe. You got it. Today is your day, you know? Let's see. The Madre of Earth. So this is the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles is like... It's like she's gifting something to someone. I, I don't know why I'm getting like this your grandmother. Like she wants you to come over because she made you like your favorite food or something like that. I, I'm getting like a. It's like a bowl of some type of stew. Like Brunswick stew or some type of like beef stew or something like that. I feel like someone is. Like your mom wants you to come investigate wait let me just hmm. 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 okay so this is what I'm getting you guys so, I, I want to say that you, you're in need of your mother's love right now. I feel like you're starting to rebuild yourself and to feel confident. And your mom is taking it the extra steps and just making sure that you get in the nourishment and the love and attention that you need. Like, I, she may feel like, like how I feel like you have not been taking care of your body and you have been stressing. And I most definitely can see that you have been going through something that you've been trying to block out. You've been trying to block out something. I mean, it's not something. I mean, clearly, you went through some type of heartache, and you're on your, you're on guard right now. You got to investigate in the reverse. So I, again, remember I said that if someone's staying up late at night on their phone or something like that, and to their phone, like they're literally on their phone looking through pictures, looking through comments, looking through information until they like literally falling asleep with their phone on their stomach or laying next to them on the bed. It's like you're falling asleep in the middle of investigation or something. Um there's I, I feel like it was someone who was looking something up on you. I feel like it's someone that's been staying up looking up something on you. I don't know you're too confident of yourself. You know, you believe in yourself too much. What does it say? Look closely, ask questions, think before you act in. So whoever this is, is looking too closely. I think they're thinking too hard. And I don't even think that they're taking action. I just think that they're stalking right now. 
It's just watching this very, very confident person just enjoying their life for whatever reason. But the three of swords, so the three of swords in the reverse, what this is representing to me with the rest of these cards here, and then you got the devil right here on the other side. So like this is someone that is having, I feel like this might be someone else that's around the Leo. If you're not this confident person, you're the person that is watching the confident person. So there could have been a third party um there could have been a breakup due to uh, interference. There was somebody else or something else interfering. It could have been someone was tempted to go elsewhere with this devil card right here. You know, again, it says we're all mad here. So uh, you could, someone could be very mad about something or just be at the point where they're being driven crazy right now because they can't stop thinking about the heartbreak, the betrayal, what went wrong, what did I do to cause this, did I do anything to cause this, is this this other person's fault, well who was this other guy, or well, who is this other woman, and what did she do better than me, and how could he not believe that, and blue blue blue, it's just like this person will not stop allowing the drama to keep rummaging through their goddamn head, it's just like, it's painstaking obvious that someone is having a very hard time with getting over a breakup where they felt like someone else came in the middle of the equation. It could be someone's mother, it looks like. They feel like, I feel like you, you guys feel like it's someone's mother that is interfering. You could feel like someone's a mama's boy. Like he always running over there. Like... <laughs> I'm sorry, like he's always running over there, like the mom is always cooking shit. It's like, I'm kind of getting a feeling like someone's, mother, someone's mother's love overrided and superseded what they were trying to do. It was like, you couldn't cook as good as the mother or the mother was always cooking and you could never give anything to your man because the mother would do it before you. You know what I'm saying? I am getting some type of jealousy to someone's connection with their parent. Like she's overgiving. She's overcompensating for him. Like she won't allow him to be a man because she's constantly giving to him and won't allow anybody else to give to him. And it's like, I'm not playing second to your mother. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this person is just drowning in thoughts of this damn madness. I even want to say like you giving into to the temptation of developing some type of hate or animosity against the mom. And I don't really think that the mom, I don't think that the mom doesn't like you or anything like that. I just think that she's not paying no attention to what you're doing and she's just going to continue, continue to do what she's been doing for her son. Like, period. I said, wake up, it's your moment. Then you got Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. So clearly you were seated in a situation where you felt like you were securely positioned. But a little gust of wind came and knocked you down and turned your smile into a frown. Like clearly you were not securely as positioned as you thought you were. You know what I'm saying? Um... You felt like this was your time only to fall on your face. And I, you're guarded now. You got you guarded with this nine of wands and the hermit. You just say this person has done this to me once before. You know? And I don't think that this person wants to see that side of you again because I want to say you were very argumentative because someone seen you fall on your face or someone allowed you to fall on your face and I want to say you feel embarrassed by it I don't want to like do you feel like the mother like intentionally wanted you to fall on your face because
I don't know where I'm getting. It's like, I feel like there's a battle between a girlfriend and a mom for this guy for some reason. And I feel like this girl is fucking tired of this shit. I want to say wake up is your moment to like put your barrier up and, you know, walk away. I want to say like with this hermit card in the reverse, like you've kept all of that, the way that you felt about this competition between you and this person's mother inside. Like you could have been just like internally dealing with that shit. But I don't think that you want to deal with it internally anymore because I want to I want to say like you feel like you're being driven crazy. You know, I know exactly who I am and what I am. And right now I'm going to take some time and I'm going to make a choice. And I need to, you know, get some balance within my life. Because right now I'm just feeling like I don't fit in here. I don't feel like you fit in here. It's like I feel like the mother's energy is one where it's like. Mm, I'm going to sit there and let her fall on her face. She can't cook. She don't know how to take care of my son. She can't do this. It's like she tries to upstage you all the time. Like she tries to upstage you all of the time. And I want to say that you wish that you would have paid more attention to this and like investigated this dynamic between the son and the mother before you really got deeply entranced in this situation because I don't think that this dude sees anything wrong with it I mean he thinks his mother is great the Adelia of Earth so this is the page of pentacles and as you can see they are weaving something or they're making something here Oh, this is yucca. Oh, the yucca plant. I know that you can do all of this shit with yucca. I just thought it's like potatoes or something. Okay. Yucca is starchy. It's starchy. Yucca fries, yucca, like, mash, like, yeah. So listen. You got that in the Ten of Hearts. The Ten of Hearts says, I am real. If I wasn't, I shouldn't be able to cry. Like, at the end of the day, like, this situation is taking too long to rectify itself. Period. Like, with this Ten of Hearts, it's like... I just want to feel proud to be around. I just want to feel like I fit in. I just want to feel like this is home to me. This is her home. This is always going to be her home. Like... He he doesn't he doesn't find anything that his mother that she's doing is intrusive. He doesn't see this at all. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't even acknowledge the way that this person feels. Like if I am real, if I wasn't, I would I shouldn't be able to cry. You want something that's gonna stand the test of time and that's gonna last long, but I don't want it to last long with all of this, with me feeling like this. And me dealing with this for the rest of my life. I'm just ready to put this to, to an end. You know what I'm saying? Tens represents endings. And clearly she's sad. She's not happy in this situation. Like she feels like she's being upstaged by someone's mother. And I'm not going to compete with your mother. Like I don't even compare to her. So like I, I feel like the like he's going to be lonely for the rest of his life. Because no one is going to put up with that. No one is going to put up with that. It's pure madness. And it's like the way I feel like the mother is doing it. It's it's in a way where it doesn't look like she's trying to attack. It's just like she, my mom's just making some food. Like she made enough for you too. Like what are you upset about? No, but I was already making us dinner. She knew that I was making us dinner. Like she always does this. Anything I'm doing like, you know... It's supposed to be laundry day and shit. I'm coming home from work and she's in our fucking house washing our clothes. Like, um, no. It's just so irritating. Ugh. Impossible things. Working through disbelief. Imaginatively fresh perspective. No, we're not working through impossible things. I'm sorry about it. We're the fuck not. We're absolutely not. Like, listen, I'm about to just communicate with you just I don't even give a damn if it come out right like I don't like what's going on I don't like your mother you know what I'm saying 
I just I don't I don't, I don't like her. I just I feel from the jump, like from the jump, there was signs that I ignored. Because just because a person isn't cheating on you with a third party doesn't mean that a third party cannot cause mischief and mayhem and completely wreck and destroy your relationship. Your mother did that. Okay? So let me be the one to come to you with this information and to be perfectly clear with you. I'm not going to deal with it. And no woman's going to deal with that. It trying to work through something impossible. You don't even think that she's doing anything wrong. What is this? The judgment, the will of fortune in the reverse, and then the six of the six of wands in the reverse. So listen, again, the judgment card is like, yeah, I am judging this situation a little harshly. I just don't feel like that. I don't. I just feel like fate wouldn't lead me here. I'm not going to receive recognition over your mother, regardless as to what she's doing. You're never going to vote on my side, right? So I have to have judgment in regards to how I decide to play here. I don't like the way y'all play cards here. It's a lose-lose situation, bottom line. And I'm not struggling for, for to get your attention from your mother. I'm just not. I'm not. I'm absolutely not. Let's do a little clarification. I did switch up my decks, you guys, so... I forget which deck this is I'm using. What is this called? I don't even know. Give me guidance for Leo in regards to this situation. Please clarify. You got the page of bows. So, yeah, again, like this is whatever you guys started. I don't even think that it got off on... This is that a weasel? What is this? The seven of stones in the reverse? Yeah, just impatient. I don't have. Uh, I just I can't do this. This is a stoke. That look like a goddamn weasel. It look like a weasel. Um, so I feel like you guys are weaseling away with this page of bows in the reverse. It's like something that you started, you were very excited about, very passionate about in the beginning. But it's just like I feel like you're trying to weasel your way out of it. I don't think that you realized what you were getting into. Um, I don't think that you realized what you were into until you were really into it because like it may take some time to actually be introduced to someone's mother. Do you understand? But at the same time, like there's some healing that needs to be done here not sure why not sure how this person just got wrapped up into their mother so much where they feel like they need their mother than their own than a relationship but at the same at the same time i'm not about to sit here and try to breathe air into this i do not have the time and i really don't feel like it's worth the effort to me because this woman it's like like I feel like okay this is this is the story that I'm getting. Um and let me change this up here. Let me plug this in. So this is the story that I'm getting here, you guys. Um the mother clings on to the son like that. Cause I want to say the father might have passed away, like the mother might have used all her energy, all her faith, all her hope, all her prayers into trying to heal the father i want to say he might have passed away from um colon colon or prostate cancer or something like that um that's why i want to say like and she's still feeding her son the same shit but no this is like i want to say that's why she wants to make sure her son eats well i, I want to say that she's trying to Give him hearty things, but more of a plant-based diet or something like that. Um, cause again, I feel I'm getting colon cancer or prostate cancer, something like that, and she want to make sure that he can constantly, like he's flushing his system out, being able to pass bowels. I feel like someone had a lot of stomach complications or something like that. Because you see how she got all that green and stuff on her. Like, you know, 
very earthly. And then again, I said the Madre of Earth. I don't think you have the patience to deal with this. You don't compare what you don't compete with. I'm not going to compete with your mother. I see that your mother is trying so hard to nurture you because she felt like she could have nurtured her husband a little bit better and could have paid more attention to him and he would probably still be here. You know, seven of stones is when someone is pay isn't paying attention and is missing, you know, um, the harvest of their crop. By the time they finally came back around, it was all rotten and dead and gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, they were gone too long. They were not being attentive. And I feel like because of this mother's not being attentive to her husband, it um, caused an issue in his health and in her healing. And that's why she's holding on to her son so tightly. Um, and why what you thought you were once passionate about, you're no longer as passionate about it anymore. Like, you may not want to talk to this person no more. I definitely feel like you don't speak to the mother. Like, I feel like you're not trying to be rude, but just like you, I don't have anything to say to her because she doesn't, I don't think she realizes or care how she makes me feel. And it's like, she just pushes her to the side like she's nothing. You got the Queen of Bows right here. So, this is like the Queen of Wands. So, this is like you, yeah, you could be like the female Leo. And she's not allowing you to be queen. She's not allowing you to be queen. And then like you see the hair, do you see the hair's ears? It's like alert, it's aware. The hair knows where to find resources and the hair will hop along. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not. And again, the queen of bows in the reverse, the hair doesn't feel comfortable because they're not able to remain active. Like the queen of wands is a very active, beautiful, vibration, yeah, vibracious, you know, person. Like you messing up my vibe, you getting in the way of how things move in my relationships. The knight of arrows, the hawk. I feel like the male energy this guy here or... Even the, even the mother, no, I feel like the mother may be watching you like a fucking hawk. Because she feels like this girl's going to try to take my son away. But ain't nobody trying to take your son. Like, ain't nobody trying to take your son. I feel like this person is watching you like a hawk. And it's like the knight of arrows, man. It's like sharp communication. Like, this woman could be, she speaks truthful, but it's like it comes out very nasty and hurtful and, and, mm. It's like, this is someone who thinks that they know everything and they speak their truth regardless if you like it or not. Like, ain't nobody even asked this person for their opinions about shit, but they just spitting out facts and just rushing down trying to tell you about your situation and shit. The Wanderer and, listen, the three of, the three of. I'm trying to tell you. I I really want to say that the mother has a sharp tongue, and then the the the, the son doesn't say a damn thing about the way that she talks to you. Not at all. This is like the mother could be jealous of your beauty, you know. Could most definitely be jealous of your beauty. And jealous because she feels that if you come in and start cooking and, you know, and, and start doing the things that you do, it's going to replace her and that her son is not going to come around and she's going to be by herself. But guess what? You ain't got to worry about that because Leo's moving the fuck on. Like, <laughs> the fool car, like, I'm just going to wander along because you're not about to make me jealous. I'm, I refuse to sit here and be jealous over someone's fucking mother. I'm just going to scoop my boots the fuck on along and I'm going to enjoy my day and have a Feliz Navidad and a Merry Christmas. How about that? How about that? I do not compare what I don't compete with and I'm not about to sit here and disrespect nobody's mother because I wouldn't want you to disrespect mine so I'm about to just go, you know? Like it, I feel like it's really hurting this person's heart because with this 
three of arrows here i definitely feel like you know that you would you have invested a lot of and been hung up on this situation but i'm no fool you know what i'm saying i believe in myself far too much i found you i can find something else too you know what i'm saying and you're not going to make me feel like i'm less than beautiful than what i know i am Clarify this for Leo. We up out of here. What's your closing advice for Leo? Thank you. We have moving on. Yes. Trapped in fear, you no longer trapped in fear. You moving past that. I with the throat chakra here, you don't have no problem with communicating how you feel. I'm moving on. I'm not being trapped here in this situation at all. The sacral chakra. Sacral chakra is like knowing how you feel about a situation. You know what I'm saying? Trying to find some type of balance. Um you're create, you know, being creative. You're vitality you're determined that's why i feel like you're tired that's why i feel tired because i'm not tired <laughs> i am not tired but i just feel like someone just needs some fucking rest like i like this whole situation is exhausting trying to figure out what to say and how not to say the wrong things to disrespect someone's mother who you think is constantly a habitual line stepper Constantly overstepping boundaries, and it's just I don't know what to do. Mental conflict, you know. It's like I'm not, I'm not scared to speak how I feel anymore. The best thing to do is just to move on. Really, it's like one little pocket of your mind right over here. That you allow this shit to get at you and defeat you a little bit. But other than that, it's like you're trying to prepare yourself to have this speech and this like, yo, why I feel, uh, why would I just looked at that shit? Why I say why those look like um it looked like those ninja stars and shit. <laughs> why I looked at that shit, I'm like, why should why I look like she about to pick up them bitches and throw it at the <laughs> throw it at the mother? The bitch get your Like, I ain't trying to hurt her. I just want I just want her to run a little bit. I just I don't know. Let's get <laughs> Cause she try to hurt you. Like again. I'm real if I wasn't real, I shouldn't be able to cry. Like this woman has made her feel low. The Queen of Wands in the reverse, hell yeah. Like this like this one this lady has made this girl feel low. Did not allow her to be a woman in her own relationship. She had to move on because she was trapped in fear about speaking up about this person's mother. I mean, this is this, this, is this person's mother. Like, I don't want to offend my boyfriend's or my, you know what I'm saying? My girlfriend's mom. Like, mm-mm. Right here, I really do feel like, listen. In order for you to get your focus and your energy and your drive back together, you got to move past this mental conflict. Take that little pocket about your head, put it here on the earth, leave it there and keep it moving. Because it sounds like you're done and you want to move on. So if that's what you want to do, speak your peace and let it be that and just and just move on. It just hurt. It's hurting me a little bit because it's like I don't feel like this should be a reason for us to break up. But I just I don't know what else to do the crown chakra like you have again with this crown chakra and this and then the number seven represents withdrawal contemplation understanding knowledge wisdom spiritual analysis so and then with the with the awakening right here that's what it says awareness like that's the magician so it's like you very much so are aware you know you have firm understanding what's going on right here and it's not going to get better you know it you know that's you just been scared to i feel like communicate it but at the end of the day listen you need your peace and your solitude from this situation i told you 
you want to be with your mother, be with your mother. Like you don't even have me to worry about no more cuz I'm not going I'm not going to compete with your mother. Bottom line. So Leo, this has been y'all's reading. I'm going to go grab me a cup of coffee or something and like whoever this is in this energy, I really do feel like this shit was draining as fuck to you, y'all. Get some sleep, get some well-needed rest, like re-energize yourself and get back out there and get back into your energy because I really feel like this has hurt your heart. It really did. And I feel like you're tired of crying and holding this shit in. Like, I feel like that's where the exhaustion has come from. It's like holding and bottling this shit in. It's like you really want to just explode. And that's why I'm like, at the end of the day, I'm not sure if this Knight of Arrows, this Hawk, is you or them. I definitely feel like the mother watches you like a hawk. But you could fly down like a hawk on their ass and just get them a big bust of some information like woman you need to get your life together like you need some counseling because your son's going to be alone forever because of your fucking ass okay because i'm not dealing with it and no woman with common sense will come near his motherfucking ass as long as you around doing this shit what you want to fuck your son or something go find a boyfriend go find a fucking life go find a counselor help help you okay go find someone to help you and you go find a life and get the fuck out of your kids goddamn relationships ugh anyway I gotta go I love y'all bye bye